Hello viewers and welcome again to another edition of your favorite program called Talk to the Camera with me Kona Sisi. Viewers today the camera can work out with you in the Freetown YWCA Preparatory School for talk to teachers them concerning the reopening of schools, how they feel as teachers, for not say school long you open after a very long time when the schools then be closed and also forget for no from them how they do for monitor the picking them knowing that COVID-19 still in the country. Now we they go for go get the teachers that you use. Hello man, welcome to this interview. Do please tell us your name and your position in the school. I am Auntie Gloria Berian, the deputy head teacher of the Fruit and Wide Office Preparatory School and the teacher in charge of the Nosby department. Do please tell us something about the YWA school. Well, the YWA Preparatory School has been in existence for about 45 years now and we have been training younger children to become prominent people in society in future and it is a Christian organization um, we are in we have the YWC national and a cross section of it because they have different um, groups and the it is the adult group that has the school, yes. Right, so this section of the school only day for the primary beginning? Yes, the nursery and primary departments. Um, be it that school be done closed for a very long time now because of COVID-19 mm -hmm. and recently government not safe for making reopen again. How do you hope for COVID-19 them picking them, be knowing that them not little, little picking them? Well, since um, we have been sensitizing them because we started school on Tuesday and they, are, they too are afraid of what is going on in the world, this COVID, and we have been asking them the safety measures which they know and we are emphasizing to them, especially washing their hands, don't to, they are not to touch their eyes, mouth and nose and the social distancing. One may want to know, what are some of the good things to know about the YWCA school? Well, as I said earlier on, YWCA Preparatory School has been in existence for over 45 years now. And we have been preparing young boys and girls for the future. And it's a Christian organization and they have their um, the international office, is, I think, in England and it's one of the groups because they have different groups in the um, organization the association sorry and it's one of them which is the adult group that owns the school and is managing it and we have been doing well since we started taking the NPSC we have been doing well and we have our children all over and they are doing excellently how does a very busy, a very hectic day for you as the deputy headmistress look like? Hmm. Well, because it has been part of me now, it, it's it's ethic uh, um, to say, but it's a joy doing, performing my role and duty as the deputy head teacher. And by God's grace, I have been going on, moving on because it's solely by the grace of God and the love for the work I'm doing. Every teacher has their own technique in the way of teaching, especially when it has to do with the level that you're teaching. How do you go about teaching young children, you know, for them to understand and for them to memorize all what, they, all what they've learned? Well, in, in, in the nursery department, it's based on um, play, and singing. Most of what we teach the children, we have to put them in songs and we have to put them in dramatized form so that they will grasp it. So that's the technique we use. And since it's early childhood, we allow the children to come up with their own um, understanding knowledge because sometimes we think uh, these children do not know anything, but they know. And if you ask them, you interact with them, you talk to them, 
they will explain to you. So that's the method and approach we are using. We first will um, question them, let us have their own view about certain things, then we modify. Let's talk about the COVID-19, okay? Now that the children are in school, government say that they should always wash their hands. Okay, how are you going to monitor these children, you know, in the aspect of washing their hands regularly? Well, as soon as they come in the morning before entering the school compound, we have our um, buckets out there, they do it. And we have our um, caretaker who stands there to see, to monitor that every child and parents who enters the school in the morning wash their hands. When they go to the toilet, they do it. And if you can go around the school, you will see by every class there is a Veronica bucket there so that they will be washing their hands. Some parents may be worried, you know, for them to send their children to school knowing that we are still under the times of COVID-19. What will be your message to these parents? Well, I w want to say, let them don't be afraid or worried because at the end of the day, it's God's that, God that protects. And let them feel free and believe on us, the teachers, that we are responsible enough to look after their children and we will ensure that what it takes for the children to practice, especially in washing their hands, social distancing, we we'll monitor them to see that they do it. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Hello, man. Welcome to this interview. Do you tell your name and which school you teach with the class where you teach? Well, this is now the Freetown YWCA Preparatory School. This is now reception class. What is your name, ma? My name is Auntie Maria Malahai. This is the reception class. Yeah. Okay. This the school be done lock for a very long time, and we don't not don't reopen school now. How you feel as a teacher for not say school long reopen? Well, we are happy because the picking them we glad the picking they don't turn back, and then well they are happy for Carlan. As you they see the class, they are all the right now. You know we really happy for. We open schools again because the beginning they be done so boring. They need to do nothing. But now when school don't open, at least the parents then turn up. See the beginning they're all glad for can land. Knowing that these are little children and they don't reopen after a very long time when school don't close, I wanna get for cope with them, you know, for the bring back their memories to all the things they wanna be the teach them but some of them don't they forget them. Yes. And then they will self see and we'll begin with them fresh. We we'll begin we we'll start with them from zero so that then we we'll, we'll go able to grab them again for let them go come in and do and fit in for do it in there for do we self no say they don't sit down for long term and now then the way school door open but who begin don't forget to they don't learn so we just get for start with them from zero from scratch yeah okay what are some of the challenging moments then for teach small small picking you know they can be at times very very difficult for andu yes they just like we see them so you just get for Sabi, they just get for understand them, for handle them. So, begin the ambog. You get way where you go able to draw attention for let it go learn. You get different, different way where they draw attention by reading, singing rhymes, you know, for just grab their attention, let it go pay attention to you to wait till you they tell them. Many people can talk, say, they can put one parable where they can say, for make you able to get beginning attention, you need for can down to in level. As teacher, how you go explain that to me? Well, as a teacher, where you get for calm down to begin level, just like this age, age five, you get for calm down to wait in the sabi, like for. But continue with the teacher, I'm not in rhymes. Then go able to grab some quick. Something they are in songs, some subject na in songs, like health education, wash your body daily, wear clean clothes, for let them understand, wash your hands before eating. You can't dunk to the level. For let them go understand, wait till you they try for tell them. Uh -huh. Okay, so what thing will be you what to parents them out there knowing that school don't open and also the workload not only for day on the teachers them but maybe also go the support to now in teaching the children the way they did not us. Yes, me what they are to the parent them, let them all relax by them picking them. 
We serve in our school, they do it best. Where they go now, also, we don't teach them. At least get time with I ask them. Say, what did auntie tell you today? Can't tell me about what did auntie, what did can't do what did auntie say. Then that same day, you serve the help we, we serve the help you now. So the beginner go relax. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Hello, ma, and welcome to this interview. Do please tell your name and the class where you teach. Well, um, um, I am Auntie Theodora, and I'm teaching Nozitu yeah, at the Free Town, oh, um, why do we say? How do you feel as a teacher for Nozitu and Adongi Open School after a very long time with school closed? Well, I feel good. And I feel happy, you know, because um, um, our children and um, we are at home for a very long time. Yes, I know that these are little children, you know, quickly forget. So I thank God, and I'm happy. What do you go tell me concerning the relationship between a teacher and in school picking, especially we get for the little little children? Well, the relationship between us, both us and the children, you know, should be patient, number one. You know. we, we as teachers need to be patient with them and also love them like our own children and also be kind to them and to teach them good morals. Yes. Knowing that now we are under the state of emergency because of COVID-19 and school long reopen in these times. What do you go tell parents they make, especially when they get for the week, monitoring the children and then when they're in school? Well, as for us as teachers, you know, I would like to talk to our parents at home to look after their children and also how they play around and to monitor them so that um, they will not be playing with other kids because of this COVID-19 spread to playing together and also let them look after them in, washing their hands regularly and also if, if they want to go out, let them always put on their face masks, as the government has said, face masks and also this social distance. Yes. What are some of the methods that you intend to put in place in order to see that the children remember all what they've forgotten? Well, one of the methods for us here, we always and every day enlighten them. As, as little as they are, we, we tell them to wash their hands regularly, to even put on their face masks while coming in. Because of now, they are babies, you know, this face mark will too hot for them and, and choke them. So, so we always advise them to wear it whilst coming in. And also social distance whilst in class and outside the class. So what will be your final message to, what will be your final message to viewers out there concerning taking care of their kids? you know, before coming to school and making sure that they always wear face masks when bringing their children to school? Yes, because as a teacher, we normally tell our parents to always, while coming into the school, they should wear their face masks, wash their hands, because we have a, 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 a water out there for them to wash their hands and to wear their face masks and social distance. Social distance is our main and mainly priority for them to be social distance. Thank you very much, ma'am. Welcome. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to this interview. Do you please tell me your name and which class you teach? Uh, my name is May Cole, and I teach us you want to. Yeah. Auntie May, how do you feel as teacher for no say school long you open after some time now we be closed? Well, I feel so excited because like what if Kenya made in our house, they're not really doing nothing and all be telling you. Well. They made it can go back and go the end. So we tell her thank you where the school are open at least. But it's I forget if we can together again. 
This first week where school uh, open, so how it's all like for you? It's very, very hectic because, like, you know, easy. By the second or the third, we cannot open school. We cannot get the them around. But now, we can not stay long now us with them parents then. Then for let, for let them depart from them parents then and car, and also easy. Unless we will get to do some crazy things then, action lines, we'll get them together, so we'll be able to get them to our lines. But well, you feel it's not the right decision this, um, the Ministry of Education make for make op school open at this particular time where we day under the crisis of COVID-19? Well, the crisis we thank God because like, the can will be the force. For now, a long delay. So we tell God thank you at least. When the school open now, we tell God thank you. So we tell the government thank you when we open the school for you because we need for educated people. Plenty of people can say for make picking be monitored where it is in our school. Now the teacher in your responsibility that day. So what do you go tell people them concerning that? Yeah, no responsibility, but when the picking and then our house again, the parents need for monitor in picking as well. Because like we not get that much time with picking them. We just get some three to two hours with them. So we can do with best. But what if Kenan gonna host a good for let the parents and monitor and pick it as well? So what thing will be what to parents then? Well me what to parents then because if Kenan long ten at us now wait and sit down. And I encourage all parents then for monitor and picking them, study them, make them like right. So we all will work as team, parents and teachers. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, Ma, and welcome to this interview. Do you tell me your name and which class you teach? My name is um, Auntie Erika Clark, and I teach in one. Yeah. How long have you done the teach now? This Over six years now. Now that we are in the times of COVID-19, you know, back then when you just begin for teach, when picking them, they go for holidays and they come back in our school, how you go differentiate them with now where they don't go for a very long time because of COVID-19 and where they don't come back? Well, uh, it's really difficult a little bit because for the time being where they don't sit on our house, when they come to school, especially the first day, they cry a lot, so go for faint time for folks there, talk to them, sing rhymes and encourage them so they will feel belong because now they force them this for come school. Tell me about how the sitting position they now the same like before COVID-19 they come na salon or when I don't separate them. Well we don't separate them because of this sickness we may come. We don't even get plenty picking them at the class because we get for really distance them because of the coronavirus we day and we still say we space them at the class. So they're not too overcrowded. Before now, now I'm also picking be the gap in class, and right now, now I'm also the gap. Well, last year we've been up, I've been up to 26 picking them, in our class, but this year I'm at 17 because we there are plenty of them. So what thing will be you what? So then parents where they want to give for out in picking at school, they afraid because you know say coronavirus still then at the country. What you go tell them as teacher about monitoring and picking them when they're in at school? I'm going to encourage the parents to follow them, not stop for car with them picking them because it's very important for them for can learn. You know, education are the best way to give you picking. So let them not feel any way or feel any bad. Space there for them. Let's have to create a time set for them to the teach the picking in our house. And when they come to school, they will do more. And then when they will self come this year, we we'll see much improvement. Because the first day when they come, they may they cry, but now they don't even adjust themselves. So we they encourage them for let them let them, let them make the picking and land because they don't lack a lot. They don't lack plenty. So we tell God thank you because God make the school not open now. And when they self come, they feel belong, they're happy. So we tell God thank you for that. So why encourage parents them? Make them not give up. Let them continue for come. No say God will take on too. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello sir and welcome to this interview. Do please tell me your name and the position where you get at the school. I'm Emmanuel Victor Kofi Williams, and I'm the caretaker for Utah Rider BC Paper UT School. Right. How long you don't at this position? It's about about three years now. Okay. Yeah. Knowing that you don't get at this position for three years now, and currently we're under this time of COVID-19 and schools don't reopen, 
How it look like for you? How it, if you the feel? Well, it only tedious for everybody in, uh, internationally and internationally. It's not a very easy time, very difficult. Because when it comes to the hand washing system, you see Mr. Sek in that fair mood. And for the try for put the law again, it's very tedious now. Time. Mm -hmm. You can find them difficult with some parents and with the car, with them picking a school for car, left and a school for making washing hands. You can find them difficult for talk to them for do that. Yes, of course, you know, say, but I isolated I anyway because massively now people and they get acquainted with the hand washing system. But you go get some people who will tell you, say, I forget my mask, then thing, then they. But we said, can try for, you know, how we can for adjust, for the, at least that one go down well, so next time that's not going to happen again. Supposing a parent come with in picking for car attend school, but then in no way in face marks at all. Is it that one can tell them for left and maybe picking kind side, or one can allow them for kind side and then tell them not for do them again? Well, actually, me can take up on myself, like where he can come, I can escort the picking down to ask and which class they because especially the newcomers, them, we no understand in class it. We can encourage them, let them wait outside, and at the learn fast, you say tomorrow or next tomorrow. Or the after, let that not happen again. All right. That's How you can monitor the picking and when they can come out of the classes, you know, when they run around the compound? Well, actually, you know, say the primary school, now the pre primary don't open now. We don't get a problem there yet because now the nurse get on now. All right. But I know, say, when you don't ask me this question, time we come, we will know where to go do and try to get things in place for me to do that. So what's going to be your message to parents and out there where they can with them picking at school about wearing you know, face masks and for wash their hands with them can at school? Well, actually, I don't need for talk much because throughout the whole world and nationally, I believe say, people are further acquainted with this now. I want to encourage them. Let them know they give me a lot of talk. Let them continue and uh, regularly they put on the mask and prepare for wash their hands. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Viewers, when I say I've done listening to some of the teachers and where they teach now the free town YWCA prepare to school concerning how they feel for the reopening of schools and also the word when they send to parents them out there that they're not for worry at all where they're picking any kind of school because them the teacher that they make sure say they monitor the picking them so that they're not go play around and also they're not go make they're not go gather together like how they be used for together before COVID-19 they can of salon. Then also talk concerning some way they when they use for make sure that the picking and member all the things that we then be they teach them, we then be don't forget during the term, we then be dinner us. We bring the program come to you today. My name is Kona Sise. Till we meet again to another edition of Talk to the Camera, I say 